this morning in the first proper time session. They've been out for free practice, but in the one which was seeding them for the, the battle bracket races, a couple of drivers had significant shunts this morning. So uh, we're going to take a look back at this. So this is Robin Larson comes over. Oh, sorry, this is backward. Larson Andres came backward. over first and, and bicycled, as in two wheels. He got away with it, as you see. But wait, Andres there's more. didn't. You know, watching the background, left of shot. Oh, man. So, unfortunately, Andreas Backroot. And here comes Fraser McConnell, the pride of Jamaica. And it gets worse. The beauty of this is that they're okay. They yeah. are okay. The cars have seen better days. And, and we talked about, you know, in the open, we're talking about last year and that big crash of Cabot Bigham. Watch this. Fortunately, he missed that, that wall. Goes in the water. He lands on the Yokohamas. He's okay. Have you talked to Fraz? Have you talked to Andreas? I haven't spoken to either, and they've both gone to hospital for checkups at yeah. the minute. They're, 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 they're okay. They're okay. They're out of the cars, and, and they're okay. They're Here we are with Group E, baby, and uh, Travis Pastrana, Kevin Erickson. You see on that front row, TP, Oliver Erickson. Then Kevin Erickson, welcome back. He missed the first two rounds in Europe. Andrew Carlson joins us. We're on America Tour. This is his track. This is backyard. And finally, that was intended to be Fraser McConnell. We'll get into that in a little bit. But right now, let's go racing. During uh, free practice, away from the line, a lot of tyre smoke on the only tarmac section here. Pastrana leads Oliver Erickson, trying to go around the outside. Kevin Erickson holds that inside line. Erickson back from injury. Oliver Erickson now trying to come around the outside of Pastrana over that first big crest, but it is Pastrana who holds on. Oliver slots in behind Pastrana, going defensive on the brakes. You know, you got to think, Travis Pastrana has way more seat time than, you know, both Erickson and Carlson combined. So both of them are getting their first go. Erickson does have a lot of seat time prior to his injuries, not letting him allow go into competition. Look at the attitude of the vehicles. Love this track. It's really flowy, and you can see many different options and opportunities for passing. That's what I'm really excited about. Pastrana goes Joker. Let's follow him through the Joker lap now for the first time. Pretty wide on the way. You can see Carlson on the inside line going to take the lead here, but Pastrana will get that back when Carlson jokers. Remember, every driver has to joker once in their run. Kevin Erickson comes through, and look, Ooh, he's look not that, that far behind Pastrana. No. So Erickson back for the first time from that broken ankle. Pastrana, look at the look on his face. That gives you all you need to know about how much concentration is. He backs into turn one, turns in, turns yeah. out. Yeah, he was saying that, you know, with, Here with we the go. weight of the cars and the, and the size of the cars, it's, it's a bit more familiar for him. Kevin Here's Erickson Joker coming lap. up inside. Can he get past Carlson as well? Carlson, I think, is going to end up P3 Ooh, here, but yeah. very close between the three of them. Through that last corner, Pastrana leading. Carlson drops back. What's at stake here? What's at stake? I mean, there you go. Travis Pastrana gets the victory. Kevin Erickson gets second. Carlson brings up third. And as we said earlier, Ollie Erickson, unfortunately, beat him. What's at stake here as far as this battle seeds? So these, these battle seeding heat races basically are to give us the battle bracket. So it decides who gets to face who. So Travis Pastrana has won this one. We've got another race to go. And basically, your top seeds won't meet each other until the later section of the battle bracket. Connor Martel flying the VSC. Robin Larson with a DRR Dryer Reinbold JC vehicle. Excite energy on that back row. Ollie Bennett and joining us, F1 champion NBD. That is Jensen Button. Jensen Button's competitive yeah. debut in Nitro Rallycross. His Very competitive cool. debut in any Rallycross. Pulls on the handbrake, trying to set the throttle for where he wants it. 2009 world champion left of the line a little bit there, was looking down the dash, just trying to get that complicated start procedure right. He follows his teammate Bennett down in P4. Larson slotted in between uh, behind Connor Martel. Great Whoa. start. Oh, sideways oh, landing no. for Bennett. If he hasn't pushed the tire off the rim, I'll be surprised. He, yeah, and he has. Yeah. I, he heard, I heard it. You, yeah. Did you hear it? Yeah. It's, it's a pow, like. Button did that the day before, Jared, on the exact same place. He came over the over the jump sideways and just knocked the tire off the rim. So Button now down that back section. He's desperately trying to get up to pace. This yep. is all new for him, and I I am so I'm in massive admiration of the bloke. He's come from single. I get singers. it. You're British. No, uh, it's yeah, not. It's not. It's the, it's the effort. You know what I mean. Uh, we are on the final lap. The white flag is out. Connor Martel has been leading the pack. Robin Larson. Not too far behind, but just not enough track for him to catch him. So there's the checkered flag. And there we have it, Connor Martel. So it's VSC, Vermont Sports Car, getting both the victories in these Group E battle seating. Go Travis Pastrana, Kevin Erickson. Who's going to get the jump? Obviously, Pastrana has that inside line. Can he hold on to it? And here we go. Green means go. Nice start, both even start. You see a little steam being made off of that pavement. And Pastrana gets the jump on Kevin. 
Nice clean race line there from Pastrana. Coley. Pastrana knows not to get, let the door open. He, he opened it once last year, if you remember, in Utah, and the Hanson took advantage of that. He will nail this onto the inside line. Doesn't go for the big flamboyant line. Now he's got to try and find some traction on the exit. Kevin Erickson going to go the alternate line. Did he have any choice? Erickson might now have that inside line. Can he get in front of Travis? Tails can do. He's in the wall. Pastrana in the wall on the landing. Came down on the K-rail on the left-hand side. And he's broken oh, the suspension. No. So Pastrana is out. Absolutely sent it. I'm sure we'll get a view from the outside line. But that leaves Kevin Erickson, who's just recovered from a broken ankle. Remember, this is his debut in the yep. FC1X, and he's going to be in the final battle. And just overcooks it, gets into the wall. That front left corner collapses like Bambi on ice. And Kevin Erickson will get the victory. Who's he going to go against? Is it going to be his brother? Is he going against Ollie? Ollie Erickson, Robin Larson, one of them will be going against Kevin Erickson. This is our battle semifinal two. This is all building up for tomorrow. Green means go. Let's see what kind of start we get from Erickson and Larson. And there they go, making some steam off the jump. Again, Erickson taking that inside line, Coley. Less wheels been for me off the line there, Jared. Oh, the no. previous CR hooks the wheel on the inside line. Erickson goes wide. Larson, though, can't he hold on to that. On it. Tried to go avoid Erickson. He thought Erickson's gone huge on the jump now, coming down with the breaking zone. Larson goes up high, going to look for the low exit. But Ericsson's nailed it onto the inside line. Ericsson was the TQ man in Sweden last time out. How he got away with that turn one incident, I'm not quite sure, but he's leading at the minute. I thought it was going to be a roadblock and Robin Larson was going to T-bone him. Oh, oh man. another moment over the jump. Now runs deep. <laughs> Larson looking to the inside line. Ericsson's using up all his lives. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, you said, like, what is he, a cat? He's landing on his right. feet, though. It's, it's, he's yeah. getting away with murder, certainly. Into the right hander now. The joker's off to the right. Remember, they're not taking it in the battle. So three laps. Larson's got to find a way past him on track. Jensen, this is your kind of bag trying to pass. He makes another mistake. He's got a puncher. He's got a puncher. Jensen, oh, Jensen oh, Button has beaten us both at commentary the second he's come up here, basically. <laughs> Ericsson's pushed a tyre off the rim. Larson goes into the lead, denied. I mean, look look at him now, obviously. Er Ericsson continues to circulate. He's 16.2 back, Jared. He might as well go around just in case Larson had had an issue. You know, you want if you can continue. He's not putting any strain on the car, just cruising around. He might as well. But as you see, Larson has, uh, has cruised around himself. And, uh, and gone through to the final. So it's going to be Larson versus Kevin Erickson. That should be a good one. And again, you know, welcome, welcoming Kevin back into the fold. Again, his debut here. Missed those first two rounds in Europe. But uh, Robin Larson, a lot of momentum coming over from Europe now here on U.S. soil. Lovely start from them both. Um... It was almost over for Larson. He was almost going to T-bone him. And I don't know how Erickson maintained that lead. It was it was actually nice for, for Robin to go round him. He yeah. could have just tapped him in the back. Couldn't oh, they? yeah, he had him off, wouldn't he? Just put, dr driven through him and said, well, he hit the wall. And I think Ollie got lucky where he glanced off the wall. It pushed the nose out wide, and he actually got away with it. And there it is, the D-beating. Yeah. There's a, a D-beating. He, he had actually line. a D-beated before the big jump, so he went over the big jump with a flat. Right, at okay, full yeah. speed. Let's see who gets the whole shot. Kevin Erickson, like Matto said, he's got that inside line. Green means go, send it. And look, you can see it's drying out. So they're getting a good launch. Kevin Erickson takes that whole shot. Hey, this is mine. Take my ball and I'm going home. Kevin Erickson, nice job there. Robin Larson gets into formation. Let's see how they go. Like you said, getting that nice inside line on turn two. Coley. Larson got a better exit off the jump there. I thought he was going to edge Erickson. Going to go deep and try and get the undercut on the exit. But Erickson has absolutely held the inside line. Didn't run wide. Runs the crowd to the outside line. Now brilliant driving. Yeah, really well done there by Kevin Erickson. He got wide. He threw out his elbows and put the block on Robin Larson. Now, Robin's going to try to find his time. Does he get the pass? You know, on the jump, or is it going to be on the hit? Does he take the joker lap early on? Disaster struck at Lyndon Hill. Larson, though, is all over the back of him. We've got another lap to go. Robin Larson trying to steal the TQ from Kevin. What a great reintroduction for Kevin Erickson to come back in. I talked about the confidence that Larson has, but right now, this is a huge confidence booster for Kevin Erickson. Again, he has more seat time than anybody. His family, you know, his dad, they developed this car together, so it's great to see him back out here speed through this right hander with the joker entry on the right this corner isn't quite as wide as it was it gives kevin a nudge in the rear he's letting him know he's there oh, larson oh, up the inside oh, of kevin he's, making the he's pass. going for it look at robin <laughs> larson gets the pass kevin erickson we got contact and robin larson wow. with two turns to go he gets aggressive and he gets the win wow brilliant. Brilliant. that was sick incredible brilliant. that was really well done he's stoked he's still on the power yeah now kevin goes inside larson comes inside
No, for me, that's good. That he's 100% alongside him as the contact happens. For me, that move is good, Jared. What's your thoughts? I, I, I think so as well. Again, it would, he, he dropped into formation. He was kind of in the same line. He was parallel with him. He just forced his way past him. All right, let's take a look then at how Sunday goes for Nitro Rallycross. First up, we've got the heat races, and the winners of each of those heat races will go straight through to row one of the final. Then it's semi-final, so the winners of the semis go through to row two. If you're second place in the semi-final, then you go through to row three. Last up is the last chance qualifier. The winner will go through to the pole position side of the grid, and the P2 driver will go through to the last slot. 30 seconds to start, and here are our drivers. Now, again, as you said, Coley, this is what's at stake. One, merc one person is moving on to the final, but on that front row, Kevin Erickson, who did so well yesterday, but in the final pass, he got past Travis Pastrana, Connor Martell. You're seeing the variety of vehicles. And Frazier McConnell is in the building. He is back, baby. Yeah, it's a different car. But the team said Andreas Bakarud or Frazier. Here we go. We're ready to set it. Green means go. And here we go. We got dry pavement, Jets so we're going to get a good grip. On the outside line gets, uh, I think, Frauss has gone up the inside of the button already. Outside, Pastrana runs wide. Kevin Hans, Kevin Erickson, sorry, maybe going to hold the lead here. Pastrana shed the inside line. He's come back over the jump. Holds on now, Connor Martell moving up. Fraser McConnell trying to go around the outside with the A-Shock Energy Machine. Not making the work. Jensen Butt starts in the P5. Oh, he hits the rear of Martell, but it's Pastrana who leads from Ericsson. I'll tell you what, Pastrana, I left the track with him yesterday. He was really frustrated at himself. He's like, man, I need to do this. I need to do that. Here I am. Connor and Travis, they're weapons here. But with Kevin being back in the mix, he's one to watch. He fought tooth and nail, but Robin Larson got him up. Oh, no! Oh! Oh, I thought he was going to go over, Jared. That was so close. <laughs> Connor Martell. He nearly been another car that would have been the third one this week. And on board with Martell. Doesn't look too flustered. How high was that? That was like last year's practice jump. I was focused on the leader, but yeah. there we are. There we are, you know, the third battle. And, and again, just one can move on. We have 10 cars. Only eight are going to the finals to get the victory here at ERX. Fraser McConnell and Jensen Button have gone joker on this lap. Look at the indicator on the left side of your screen as we see Kevin Erickson sets the fastest lap. He's super tight. Pastrana running out using all the road. Kevin Erickson using a slightly cleaner inside line. Yeah. He's chasing him, chasing him really hard. We've only got two laps to go, Jared. So if they're going to alternate on their Joker strategy, one of them's got to go now. And I don't think Pastrana will go from the lead. No, no. I, I, I think Pastrana's waiting for that final lap. He's going to execute the Joker. But the other big thing is, look at how aggressive Ericsson is getting. He's going over the jumps, and he's going at angle. Going to the Joker lap. Can Travis Pastrana advance on to the final? We'll find out. Here comes Kevin Ericsson. He takes, obviously, not the Joker lap. But here goes Travis Pastrana. It looks like he will hold on. Oh, oh. Kevin Ericsson runs! Rolls, Ericsson rolls Kevin down the Erickson. back, oh came out, gosh. clipped the exit of the Joker, but Strana wins and goes straight through to the wow. final. Ericsson may land on his wheels, he has. Can he get the car going again from there? I reckon he'll stop. It's He's it, only just at, recovered at, from a broken ankle, Jared. At this point, Kevin Ericsson want to make sure he's okay. And that, you, you see it, tense of tents. And that's what we're looking push for. He, want, he wanted to push. He, push he wanted to get it in there. Again, Kevin Ericsson, glad he's back, glad he's in the race. Let's make sure he's okay. Regardless, I'm sure his spotter is saying, hey, Travis, you won, but Kevin had a nasty roll behind you. Well, here we are. We are back to it. And again, the winner of this heat will advance on directly to the finals and join Travis Pastrana on the front row. Robin Larson, you got Ollie Erickson, Andrew Carlson. This is his backyard. Ollie Bennett and Andreas Backroot is in the building, baby. He's back. Unbelievable effort from that team to get the car ready in time. We'll talk you through what they did overnight to make it happen. But now just a few seconds remain until the green. We're going to send it down to turn one. See who gets there first. Larson, the top qualifier, chose to go in this heat, remember, but Ollie Erickson was super quick. Carlson is the local man. Bennett on row two. Bennett with a good start from row two. Carlson trying to look up the inside of Ollie Erickson. Ollie Erickson's had a bad one. Sideways for a backward, trying to sneak in behind him. Down in P5, can't find his way past Bennett either. Bennett's inside Carlson as they head down to the hairpin. Larson's got the whole shot. Let's see who goes late on the brakes. Backward, trying to come around the outside of Ollie Bennett. Larson leads from Ollie Erickson. So Robin Larson, your championship leader, remember, with a win at Lytton Hill and a P2 in Sweden. Sweeps through the joke lap. His teammate Andreas Backward from the RX Cartel. Joins him in there on the standard lap. Carlson is not near enough. But you're looking at as Ollie Erickson coming over the line, but here comes Larson through the long left hander. He's going to take the win from the TQ to go straight to the front row. Can anyone stop him? Katie Osborne, there it is. She she asked Larson yesterday. Again, you see Backroot grab second, and then you see Carlson grab third. But Katie Osborne yesterday asked him, are you going to celebrate? He says, not until nah. tomorrow, which is today. Yeah. Right now, he's celebrating. He's got a smile underneath his face. Here we go. There is our groupie <laughs> semifinal, the Jamaican one. 
Big up Fraser McConnell in that DRR JC vehicle. Andrew Carlson, Dreyer Reinbold, and on that back row, you got Jensen Button, as you said, Coley, 2009 F1 champion. And then rounding out the bunch, Ollie Erickson. McConnell versus Carlson now on the front row. Carlson with the home advantage, but that's not going to help him at the start. Who's going to get the grip? Red lights on, then we'll go green. On the back row there, Jensen Button on the inside. Can he book himself a place in the final here? Away from the line, we're on board with the drone. Brilliant start off the front row from Fraser McConnell around the outside. Ericsson uh, trying to go. Carlson. Carlson runs all the way out wide. Ericsson going to get alongside Carlson now on the inside line down towards the hairpin. Woo. Oh, landing on the back wheels, Jensen Button. Brilliant start by Fraser McConnell. Here comes Ericsson sideways, looking to go inside. Carlson going to take the left hand lane. Ericsson going to slot in shortly. Carlson goes right. Ericsson goes left. This is where he made a pass earlier today. And where he had his spin as well. Yeah, I, I told you. It's that RPM right yeah. there. It's that rev limiter there. Oh, but watch for the inside line now. Ollie Erickson coming up oh, over the crest. Oh, he's going the rolls. Erickson going to get a Carlson the side by side. Erickson going to run him out towards the wall. Oh. Contact between them. Wow. Carlson slots into P3 over the jump. And look at that. So Erickson. Inside, inside. inside. Looking into turn one. Carlson going to try and make the pass. Now he runs Erickson out wide. Nice Gets move. it back. Great nice pass well in turn done. one. First time we've seen that this weekend. Well done there by Carlson, getting it back from Ollie Erickson. And that was some good racing. Oh, 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 oh look at up. this. We got, I mean, hey, you had a great pass, by the way, yesterday, yeah. uh, Robert Larson. We forgot, we failed to mention that on his brother, Kevin Erickson. You got that TQ spot. I mean, you're the man to watch, obviously, this weekend. But look at he Ollie Erickson. He's getting some the ground. Wheel. I think he's got, yeah, yeah I think the, bro uh, the rear of Carlson's car's broken. The car's crabbing. That was quite a big hit up at the hairpin. What's your thoughts on it, Robin? Uh, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, off to the side. So I think one of the rear toe links broken. Yeah. You can see the, the rear left pointing away. Fraser McConnell coming round. Remember, Fraser ended yesterday after a massive roll, sitting in the pond outside turn one on the in the semi-final here. McConnell goes straight through for row two. Brilliant drive by him. Ericsson gets P2, but it was a pretty physical pass on Carlson up at turn one. And Jensen Button not too far behind. Not the world bad. champion Formula One driver continues to improve here on the dirt. Yeah. A great victory there for Fraser Lucky McConnell. I'm not the judge. <laughs> <laughs> this is our semi-final. Again, the semi-final, the top two advance on. On that front row, Andreas Bakkerud, Dreyer Reinbold, JC, and of course, they are the RX Cartel. Right on that front row as well, Connor Martel, Vermont Sports Car. On the back row, you got Ollie Bennett and no Kevin Erickson. He rolled earlier in the race, and uh, obviously, he is ready. He's not running, so unfortunate. Very unfortunate for Kevin Erickson. Away from the line then, good start by Conor Martel on the outside, but Bakker gains a bit of ground. Martel trying to go the long way round. Bakker gets into his door, Martel wow. runs wide. Bennett maybe going to go up alongside Conor Martel. Over the big jump now, flying that super long. Bennett slotted in behind him. Where are they up at turn two? There they are. Bakker, Martel has a look inside. They're surely going to go opposite wow. sides here. Backward squeezes them Physical. in. They've gone in different lanes, Jarrett. So Backward's gone outside. Martel hits the wall. Gets super sideways. Maybe loses a bit of time. If it wasn't for that, I wow. reckon he might have got Backward. But it's Andreas who leads. Yeah, really well done control put there by Connor Martel. But we are getting physical. You know, going off of that first semifinal heat. Now into this, you're seeing that they really, really need to push. So Connor Martel trying to gain some ground on Andreas Backward. They're all right, so uh, Ollie Bennett goes for that joke. Yeah, lap. that's the right move, Jared. Yeah. He knows those two are getting into it. So what he's hoping now is these two will get into it too much, like we saw with Carlson right. and Ericsson. Nice shot by Connor Martel, and looks like he's going to finish it out. We got a couple more turns for glory for Connor Martel. Remember, top two advance on to Phil and join the other remaining drivers. And we will have an eight-car final for our group E and Connor Martel. The Vermont sports car gets the checkered flag. Andreas Backrood. You open the door, and guess what? Andres Backrud just locked it in. There you go. Let's go, he says. Yes. He's excited. That's yeah. two out of the three American drivers through to the final at the first USA round of Nitro Rallycross. Carson at his home track. Needs to get a good start here. He does get a good start. Bennett alongside now. Bennett's going to try and go around the outside line. Jensen Button just holds it tight on the inside. The tracks are getting pretty wet from the reprep, so grip conditions are going to be unpredictable. Button up over the big jump. The roost flies up from his teammate Bennett. Bennett's inside. Carson on the run to the first corner. Carson goes deep. Can Button find a way through here? He can't, so it is. Bennett leading and Carlson right in behind. Goes for the title line. Carlson, nice, really well done there on that landing. Just kind of cushions it in. He has to hit that Joker lap. Kind of little little hiccupy there. Joker predictor. Will he hold on to second place? They're saying he's going to lose second place. They're that saying it's going to be close. Yeah. They're saying it's going to be really close. Jensen Button around the outside line. His teammate Ollie Bennett on the inside line. Both for XI Energy Racing. Button might look to make the underpass on the exit here. Carlson's going to win and go through. But Jensen Button is as close as he's been to his teammate all weekend. He just misses out 
Ollie Bennett makes his first ever Nitro Rallycross final. That's awesome. So Ollie Bennett is in. Jensen Button is out. 30 seconds to start, and we are about to send it. That's right, ERX. Here's our Group E final. On the front row, Robin Larson, the DRR JC RX Cartel vehicle. Next to him, Travis Pastrana, 199. Connor Martell. Next to Fraser McConnell, Ollie Erickson, Andreas Backrood, and that final row, Andrew Carlson and Ollie Bennett. Send it, Coley. Pastrana then on the outside. We know he'll try the round the outside <laughs> move if he can. His teammate Martel has looked brilliant all weekend. What can McConnell, uh, McConnell do? Oh, is that a jump start on the left hand side? They might let I... that go if he hasn't moved too far. It was backward. Green light, they've let it go, so backwards stopped it on the grid in time. Larson off the line, Bang Martel it. up straight in behind. McConnell trying to go around the outside. Inside line there for Travis Pastrana as they go up over the big jump. Pastrana's got the inside, he jumps super long, takes the lead immediately. We said he'd risk it, he risks it immediately. And then inside, Larson, you're on board now with Pastrana. We need to see the outside, where is everybody in the background? Oh, look, Pastrana hops up over. Larson's gone down the outside line. McConnell, I think it is, on the inside into P3. And then it's backwards, side by side in the background with Martel. Look at Pastrana out front. Larson, like I said, he is a threat, but look at that fight back there for fourth and fifth. So again, we're talking about those, you know, the Vermont sports cars. Look at Fraz, Fraser McConnell in third. That's fantastic. Unreal, unreal after yesterday. McConnell ended yesterday, remember, sitting in a pond in a written off car after the biggest accident of his career. He said it felt like it went on forever. He's now in a podium position here at ERX. Incredible. One, two, and three have not taken their Joker lap. We are on lap four of six, so quite a bit of racing still left. Keeping the equipment, keeping it together. Oh, going for the Jokers, Frazier. Yeah, McConnell in the Joker lap now, so watch in the background. It's easily got enough. They need to be on the exit of that previous corner. Fraser McConnell's going to get that done and hold on to P3. And here he goes here now. Here we go. So it's saying he's going to retain first. He's got to keep it clean. The race face is on. The 199, he made a big statement. And is he going to deliver? One more turn to get the win here. Our first round here in America. He throws up the fist. And there he goes. The double checkered for TP. Travis Pastrana gets the win here at ER. RX, baby. Robin Larson, almost a perfect event for him. TQ yesterday gets second. And Fraser McConnell, like he said, from the pond to the podium, baby. Fraz, big ups for the Jamaican driver. Look at that face. $1,000 goes to Ben, 13 years old, but he wins side by side and our Group E. He was definitely taking <laughs> risks, but they paid off. And Larson is the first man there to congratulate him. Congratulations again from Robin Larson. And again, you can see the smile on his face. So make some noise for him as he steps outside of your vehicle. Your winner here at ERX. Congratulations, Travis Pastrana. Some hugs from the Jamaican driver, the A-Shock pilot. That is Fraz. The Group E final, Travis Pastrana gets the win here at ERX, kicking off the first of three North American rounds. Again, Glenn Helen, Phoenix, see if he can do it again. But man, great racing. Robin Larson second, Fraser McConnell in third. You got some hardware here, Travis Pastrana. Congratulations on that win. That was a perfect race. I'm going to go ahead and hand this off to you because you lift some weights there. <laughs> you left it on out there on the everything, actually. In fact, what statement were you making here to the American fans? No, I mean, this is the closest to a motocross track. Uh, ERX, the Carlsons, thank you so much for just such a beautiful facility. Thank all of you guys for coming out. Uh, all the support, man. It's uh, it's been a rough start to the season, and I just I'm so thankful to be able to be back out here. Uh, we had a good run in the side by sides, and now for this, man, this is uh, much needed. Thank you to the team. How much did you know that you were actually gaining speed? The fastest lap, another fast lap, another fast lap. How'd you stay in control? Did you even know that was happening? Yeah, no. I get my lap times read out, and uh, they said fastest time of the week, next fastest time of the week. I'm like, all right, Matt. Thank you, buddy. Oh, I tell you what. Um, this is uh, this is really special, and it, we're a long way behind in the championship. But welcome to America. We're back.